There are a lot of reasons that a book might be worth reading. Some are entertaining, some are inspiring, some are interesting, some teach you a useful skill. And then there are some books which are completely mind-blowing and change the way that you look at the world. This book that I'm going to talk about, Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza, is one of those books. And I should mention that not only will this book change the way you look at the world, it also directly applies to how you live your life. So when you read this book, just knowing the information, you won't be the same person that you were before. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick summary of some of the points that were especially life-changing for me. And I can pretty much guarantee that for just about everybody watching this video, something I'm going to say is going to challenge some of your beliefs. And if you recognize the truth of this information, then your life is never going to be the same. So if you're not ready for that, well, this is your warning. A few years ago, I read this weird new agey book by a Russian physicist called Reality Transurfing, which was basically about how our mind and soul combined have an amazing power to change the world around us through our intention. It was a very strange and very interesting book. Actually, it was a series of books that I downloaded all as one unit onto my Kindle. And it went over this strange model of how the universe works and how our intention affects it. It was very long and thorough, but it never really explained where all this information came from. I think all he said about it was that some guy told him all this stuff. So basically no explanation. Anyway, a few years later, I watched a few videos on YouTube from Joe Dispenza, who's the guy who wrote this book, Becoming Supernatural. And I thought what he had to say was really interesting, so I went and bought the book. So I started reading Becoming Supernatural, and a lot of the stuff was the same stuff that was said in that reality transurfing book. But instead of coming from just some mysterious, some guy, Joe Dispenza had all of these brain scans and research and experiments that he's done on his students and crazy stories about these amazing transformations that his students have gone through. The book starts by talking about health. Basically, the premise is that people can heal themselves through the power of their mind. Which nobody really disputes, right? I mean, everybody recognizes that the placebo effect exists, for example. That is, that by having faith that you are being healed, you can actually be healed, even though nothing physical is doing the healing. But it's funny because mainstream science kind of shunts it to the side. It's like, we don't really understand this, we'll control for it in our experiments, but we can't really explain it, so we'll just ignore it instead. Which kind of sucks, right? Because the fact that people can heal themselves through the power of faith from all sorts of diseases seems like it might be something worth paying attention to. But anyway, that's basically what Dr. Joe has been studying through his work. He's shown that people can make huge changes to their hormones through the power of their minds. Which isn't so controversial, right? I mean, everybody knows that your body raises cortisol levels when you get stressed out, for example. But he also makes the case that some of these hormones are addictive. And if you get addicted to a hormone that comes with a particular feeling, then effectively, you are becoming addicted to that feeling. And a lot of times, those are bad feelings. So if you find yourself getting stressed out a lot or getting angry a lot, it may be that your body is literally getting addicted to those feelings. And every time you feed those feelings, you are making the addiction stronger. And I can totally relate because I've noticed that sometimes I go looking for things to make me feel bad. Like I remember back when I worked in an office, I'd wake up late one day and then I'd be all cranky because I didn't want to go to my stupid job. And then I'd start driving to work and then I'd hit a red light and then I'd hit another red light. And then the next one, like I, ex I wanted that light to be red. Like I wanted. I wanted more inconveniences to come up just so I could justify my feeling that uh, everything was bad and the whole world was out to get me. Completely irrational behavior, right? And then a few hours later, the irritation and frustration would go away and I'd go back to normal. But the point is that the body becomes your mind. And the more I would indulge my addiction to anger and frustration, the more things would come up that made me angry and frustrated. And even when there was nothing that, that would justify my anger and frustration, it was like my subconscious mind was seeking out things to be angry and frustrated about. And just like the placebo effect changes our health, so does the opposite of the placebo effect. If you have faith in a positive outcome in the future, that helps you heal. So what if you believe that you're going to have a negative outcome in the future? Same thing, your expectation turns into reality. And Dr. Joe actually took this a big step further than just hormones and actually figured out that your mind can literally change your genetics. By the way, if you're enjoying this video or you're finding it interesting, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button because it makes the YouTube algorithm like me better. And if you want more like this in the future, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And if you think this video would be helpful for someone else that you know, please share it as well. Which, this blows a huge hole in traditional medical science, which likes to blame everything on our genes, which supposedly we're born with, but actually we have the power to control how our genes express themselves. 
He was able to show changes in eight different genes in his students after just four days of mental work, including genes that cause aging, cancer, autoimmune disorders, and mood disorders like depression. So if you're still with me here, you're probably wondering, how on earth does this happen? Well, the book explains this in detail. It's through reaching altered states of consciousness, which you can reach through meditation. Really, the basis of all this is that if you can shut off the thinking part of your brain for a little while, you can have fuller access to the rest of your consciousness. And your consciousness has power that you can't even begin to understand until you get into this practice yourself. Science is only just beginning to figure this out. For example, physicists have discovered what they call the observer effect, where particles or waves of light behave differently based on whether or not someone is watching them. So the watching or not watching, that is the human consciousness, is literally changing the nature of physical reality. But anyway, by shutting off the thinking brain and centering yourself in the present moment, you can access altered states of consciousness, which are very different than normal, by the way. The book shows a whole bunch of brain scans to prove it. And when I say very different, I mean to the tune of 160 standard deviations above the normal brainwave frequency. And if you're not so familiar with standard deviations, that's completely off the charts for something biological. For example, Albert Einstein had an IQ that was about four standard deviations above the normal. So being 160 standard deviations away from the average in anything biological, might be something you could call being supernatural. So I know I'm going all over the place with this video, but there's just so much mind-blowing stuff in this book, you really have to read it for yourself. Anyway, so if you can access these altered states of consciousness, you can also have mystical experiences. And these mystical experiences will show you things about the nature of reality that you couldn't possibly know otherwise. And this is ancient knowledge, by the way. This is where a lot of the world's religious beliefs come from. Our modern Western society likes to believe that science and logic and the rational thinking mind are our only tools for learning the truth about reality. But we're missing out on a ton of potential because thinking and reasoning are only a small fraction of what our minds are capable of. So you can have mystical experiences by training your mind to access the present moment. You can access these altered states through melatonin and through variants of melatonin. The altered state that you're probably already most familiar with is called dreaming. Melatonin is the sleep hormone, and when you sleep, you dream. But actually, the brain is capable of transforming melatonin into several other chemicals which have different effects. And one of those altered versions of melatonin is called dimethyltryptamine, or DMT, which you might have heard of before because it's a powerful psychedelic drug. If you talk to people who have taken DMT, they all seem to have had the same experience that they were shot out of their body, they went to some alternate dimension, and then they talked with some alien beings. And if you tell them that it's just an illusion caused by a hallucinogenic drug, they'll tell you, no man, that was the most real thing I've ever experienced. Anyway, just like with dreaming, mainstream science has no explanation for that at all. So through this meditation practice, your brain can produce DMT along with a host of other chemicals that can lead to crazy mystical experiences. I haven't had this experience myself yet, but I'm getting closer. Like most things, it takes some practice to get good at. And the more you practice, the more outside your normal experience you can go. So I'm at the point where I can meditate myself into basically a mild psychedelic trip, which is a mystical experience, but I know it's gonna take more practice to get deeper than that. So now another part that I found fascinating was that when you're in this altered state, all of time condenses down into a single second. Which is interesting because you've probably read about this in religious texts, right? Like God says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And then since there are basically an infinite number of potential futures, you can choose whichever one you want to live in. So if you envision the future that you want, you envision the career, the family, the relationships, the body, the health that you want to have in the future, you can experience that in the present. Because the past, the present, and the future are all condensed into one moment what Dr. Joe calls the eternal present. And everything we want, we want because of how it makes us feel, right? We want a big house because it makes us feel important, or we want a fast car because it makes us feel excitement, or we want a good relationship because it makes us feel loved. So if we can tune into that future in the present, we can enjoy the feelings of that future right now. And when we experience those future experiences and feel those future feelings and feel elevated emotions like love and gratitude for those experiences, we are literally changing our bodies and minds to become that person that will attract those experiences in the future. To borrow a Myron Golden expression, we are becoming the person we need to be in order to do the things we need to do in order to have the things we desire to have. So if you ever think that I sound too big for my britches, well that's why. 
I haven't done everything in life that I want to yet. I've done a lot of it, but I have complete faith that I will have the future I desire because I've already experienced it. Now it's just a matter of time and doing the work that I need to do in order to get there. Anyway, so of course I highly recommend that you read the book. I know I rambled a lot in this video, but it's because there's just so much information in this book. I really just gave you a very small sample of all the mind-blowing stuff you're gonna learn from Dr. Joe, and he makes it a lot more convincing because he's got all the data and experiments to back it up. You can do all these meditations yourself. He tells you how the meditations work, and then if you want the actual audio tracks, then you can buy them online. They're a little pricey, but I recommend that you try at least one so you get the full experience. My personal favorites are called Reconditioning the Body to a New Mind and Walking into Your Future, which you'll understand if you read the book. And if you want to learn more about how spirituality affects your results in life, then I recommend you watch this video all about how accessing altered states of consciousness, like I talked about in this video, can give you an endless supply of good ideas which will help you accomplish your goals in life. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you think anybody else would find it interesting.